Good morning, everyone. Hello. Now, Good what morning. you won't know is, actually, you will know. What's my job? Uh, I'll do work in the school. But what's my what's my job head called? Head Being the head teacher. The head teacher. And what's the second word in head teacher? What's the second part of head teacher? Teacher. teacher. So I, before I was a head teacher, I used to be a real teacher. And do you know what year groups I used to teach? What? Yeah. I taught year one, I taught reception, reception, and I taught year two, and I taught lots of other year well, groups. Well, I'm in year two. But I'm in when, year two. when I was a reception and a year one teacher, one of my favourite books was... The Gruffalo. And I thought I would share The Gruffalo with you today and with everyone that's at home as well. Would you like that? Yeah. Okay. The Gruffalo, and it's by Julia Donaldson and illustrated by Axel Shepard. Shepard! I'll read microphone. Let's make sure we've got lovely listening. A mouse took a stroll through the deep, dark wood. A fox saw the mouse and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come and have lunch in my underground house. It's terribly kind of you, fox, but no, I'm going to have lunch with a gruffalo. That's rhyming. A gruffalo? What's a gruffalo? A gruffalo? Well, didn't you know? He has terrible tusks and terrible claws and terrible teeth in his terrible paws. Where are you meeting him? Here by these rocks and his favourite food is roasted fox. Roasted fox? I'm off, fox said. Goodbye little mouse and away he sped. Silly old fox, doesn't he know there's no such thing as a buffer. It is rhyming. On went the mouse through the deep dark wood. An owl saw the mouse and the mouse looked Good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come and have tea in my treetop house. It's frightfully nice of you, Owl, but no, I'm going to have tea with a... Gruffalo! A Gruffalo? What's a Gruffalo? Why, didn't you know? He has knobbly knees and turned out toes and a poisonous wart on the end of his nose. Where are you meeting him? Here, by this stream. And his favourite food is owl ice cream. Owl ice cream? To wit, to woo. Goodbye, little mouse. And away, owl flew. Silly old owl, doesn't he know? There's no such thing as a... Ruffalo! On went the mouse through the deep dark wood. A snake saw the mouse. And the mouse looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come for a feast in my log pile house. It's wonderfully good of you, snake, but no. I'm having a feast with a... Gruffalo! A gruffalo? What's a gruffalo? A gruffalo? Why, didn't you know? His eyes are orange. His tongue is black and he has purple prickles all over his back. Where are you meeting him? Here, by this lake. And his favourite food is scrambled snake. Scrambled snake? It's time I hid. Goodbye, little mouse. And away, snake slid. Silly old snake, doesn't he know? There's no such thing as a... Ruffalo! Oh. But who is this creature with terrible claws and terrible teeth in his terrible jaws, his knobbly knees and turned out toes and a poisonous wart at the end of his nose? His eyes are orange, his tongue is black, he has purple prickles, all over his back. Oh help! Oh no! It really is a gruffalo! My favourite food, the gruffalo said. You'll taste good on a slice of bread. Good? 
said the mouse. Don't call me good. I'm the scariest creature in this wood. Just walk behind me and soon you'll see everyone is afraid of me. All right, said the Gruffalo, bursting with laughter. You go ahead and I'll follow after. They walked and walked till the Gruffalo said, I hear a hiss in the leaves ahead. Snake. It's Snake, said the mouse. Why Snake, hello? Snake took one look at the Gruffalo. Oh, crumbs, he said. Goodbye, little mouse. And off he slid to his log pile house. You see, said the mouse, I told you so. Amazing, said the Gruffalo. They walked some more till the Gruffalo said, I hear a hoot in the trees ahead. Owl. It's Owl, said the mouse. Why Owl? Hello. Owl took one look at the Gruffalo. Oh dear, say, he said. Goodbye, little mouse. And off he flew to his treetop house. You see, said the mouse, I told you so. Astounding, said the Gruffalo. They walked some more till the Gruffalo said, I can hear feet on the path ahead. Fox. It's Fox, said the mouse. Why, Fox, hello. Fox took one look at the Gruffalo. Oh, help, he said. Goodbye, little mouse. And off he ran to his underground house. Well, Gruffalo, said the mouse, you see, everyone is afraid of me, but now my tummy is beginning to rumble. My favourite food is Gruffalo. Grumble. Crumble. Gruffalo crumble, the Gruffalo said, and quick as the wind, he turned and fled. Oh. All was quiet in the deep dark wood. The mouse found a nut, and the nut was good. Oh, Did you enjoy that story? Yes. yes. Is it one of your favourite stories? Yes. yes. I used to um, 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 read this when I was over in the, um, in, in the school. Fantastic. Well, that's very good. Well, I hope you enjoyed it at home as well, and we'll be back soon. Maybe next time we'll read the next one, The Gruffalo's Child.